Let's convert r equals sine theta. So multiply by r, this is going to give you r squared is equal to r sine theta. In class, you should have learned that this is equivalent to x squared plus y squared, and r sine theta is equivalent to just y. Gather all the terms on one side, so x squared plus y squared minus y is equal to 0. Now complete the square on the y, so it's going to be x squared untouched plus and then y. Here in front of this y is a 1, so you take and you do the following with the sign. 1 half of negative 1 is just that, negative 1 half. And then you square it, but because now expanding y minus 1 half would give back an extra 1 quarter not present in the original expression, you got to do always minus that same quantity squared, and you set that equal to 0. Then x squared plus y minus 1 half squared minus 1 quarter is equal to 0, x minus 0. I'm going to be explicit. So I want to show the center. So I'm going to say stuff a 0 in there. Plus y minus 1 half squared is equal to 1 fourth. And now that 1 fourth is normally written as follows. x minus 0 plus y minus 1 half squared is equal to 1 half quantity squared this way. And this is, remember, also squared. So that means that the center of our circle is 0, 1 half. Take those without the negatives. The radius of the center is 1 half, of the circle rather. Sometimes you're asked to do a picture. Let's throw the one in here quickly. So look, because the center is at 0, 1 half, so x equals 0, y is equal to 1 half. The radius is also equal to 1 half right here. So when you draw it, just try to keep it balanced, and it pretty much looks like this. Leave a like if it's helpful.